Be good. Thank you. How do you feel about the recent unfortunate passing of the Marvel founder Stan Lee? Thank you. Well, I'm, I feel sad, but then knowing that the guy is 95, I'd be happy to sign a contract right now to live to be 95. But at least that we had him with us. But I don't think he had a few days left, especially what's going on with his life. Especially he lost his wife, and he had major hearing issues, and he can't see. But um, I wouldn't be here when it wasn't for him. But I do be him coming. He was ready to go because he he missed Joan. You took my wife Carla. Nice to meet you. Um, your depiction of the Incredible Hulk was the first um, live action depiction? Yeah, because at the time Spider-Man Captain America failed as a TV series, so the Hulk was the breaking ground to be successful. That's why you see all the movies today, because of the original Hulk. And how do you feel about all the subsequent depictions in the more recent li uh, live action films? Well, I'm not a big fan of CGI. I mean, like, I miss the good story. That's why the series is so popular, the one I did, because every episode had a laser compelling message about life. We didn't have this TGI, the special effect. Okay, great for the big screen, but everybody needs a good story. Like, for example, the original Twilight Zone, I still watch it today. You know, you watch it, and you learn something. It still captures your imagination. That's the same thing, like the original Star Trek, The Hulk. It can't be replaced. What do you think it is about those shows that captivate the imagination for today's youth and future? It, it could apply today. It's all about life, because the Hulk series didn't have any excessive bloodshed blood uh, shed or firing on or sex and stuff like that. It was a very healthy metric. But today, uh, you got to be careful with CGI because at the point, like it maybe work for Star Wars, but you know, the spaceship, all that stuff, I'm, I'm getting tired of it. How do you feel that growing up in Brooklyn has shaped your character? Growing up in Brooklyn? In Brooklyn shaped your character. Well, I still have the Brooklyn in me. But, uh, you know, if it wasn't for Brooklyn, I would be where I am because it made me a survivor, especially when I had to overcome in my life. Um, and so your message as a, as a survivor to children this holiday season? Yeah, I would say just be thankful that, uh, you know, you have your, 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 your soul and especially uh, the family or friends you have and cherish what you have because, you know, you never know what happened tomorrow, especially now with all the fires that have been happening. It just takes your life like that, like a matchstick. Thank you so much.